All right, welcome back. I want to do a quick video for you guys on kind of a sling tutorial. I see a lot of people with their slings set up in ways that does not allow them mobility, flexibility, or stability with the rifle. And I think that's really kind of like a, a, a shame because the sling kind of can enhance everything, can enhance your shooting, can help you move quicker. Uh, it's there to help you. So you should absolutely be taking some care and, and consideration to how you have it set up. Uh, and adjusting it properly. So that's kind of the first thing I want to talk about, just adjusting the sling to your body. Uh, it should fit pretty comfortably, kind of within a fist or two of your chin, uh, but at max tightness, it should be there and not move too much. I like running uh, a rear attachment on the outside of the stock. So what that does is help the sling pull the rifle into my body. Uh, if I also want to do something crazy, like change shoulders as I come across, I'm just gaining some more sling uh, space there. So it helps me not choke myself to death if I want to change shoulders. Uh, up front, this is something that I see a lot of people neglect. Uh, they kind of just decide on one sling point and that's it. And they, they never go back. I think having two points, two options on the handguard uh, really helps make the sling uh, work for the shooter and let you be more versatile in how you employ it. So right now, I have it mounted back at the castle nut. See, there's an opposite one built into the rail. Hey, if you guys are in a quad rail like I've done in the past, just buy two sling mounts and put them on the rail. They exist and there's plenty of them out there. Anyway, in this, in this configuration, it lets the gun kind of hang a little bit looser on, on my body. It lets the uh, muzzle move more freely. I can come up, I can come down. And this is again at max tightness because it is sized for use uh, with armor. And then I can come out, undo my QD point, mount it all the way forward on the end of the rail. What that's gonna enable me to do is have tighter sling to my, my body. So I have to sling it. Now I can just come out, sling my arm through. Now the gun is on my back. I'm completely hands free. I can do whatever I have to do with this weapon and it's completely stable. It's not doing anything crazy. If I have to get back in action, all I do, I can break it loose, right? Grab that tab, bring the rifle forward, and I'm ready to go. Right? I can keep it in like a necklace configuration, put my arm back through, and it's not a big deal. Right? I can fight with this sling just as well with it up front or at the back, but each of those positions gives me a little bit something extra. Uh, again, not a big deal to have that configuration. You can figure out how it fits best for you. But I really think having it, uh, having the option of the front or the mid mount really pays dividends. Especially see that when uh, kind of shoot like an outlaw two gun. Sometimes they'll have you shoot and then clear the rifle and then sling. And now you're running around like this, shooting pistol or doing something else. And if you have a very floppy, loose rifle, it's just, it's messing you up as a shooter, and not letting you do what you need to do. If you want to get even more, uh, we we'll call it diverse, with your sling options, you can come back to the stock. Instead of just running that one outside point like I have here, you can kind of add a uh, mount here at the stock or at the castle nut. And that, coupled with this T10 swinger, that's what I'm using here. That's going to enable you to almost be at a, a one point. All right, so now instead of having our points corner to corner all the way out, now we have them kind of mid mounted, and this is letting you get even more room to move that rifle around but still have it retain to my body. So even with that change in sling position, right, it still is keeping the rifle at the position where it needs to be for me to get it quickly into action. Guys, if your sling is not working for you, make it work for you. Uh, this is probably one of the most important things about using a rifle quickly and effectively after you know, your, your zero and your basic manipulations. Any questions, guys, let me know. I've used a bunch of slings. I haven't used them all, but I can definitely give you guys some educated opinions.